everyone. Welcome to our new episode of Amazing China. I'm Zhen with Xinhua News Agency. Today, here I'm in Wu Wu of East China's Anhui province, and today we're going to show you how Tiehua is made. Tiehua actually literally means iron art. Long time ago, the city of Wu Wu was renowned for its high quality art iron making production. Due to the convenient transport alongside the Yangtze River, the industry developed very fast and also the iron-making techniques became more sophisticated. Actually, the history of Tiehua, the iron art, can trace back to more than 300 years ago. Actually, there was a local blacksmith who was called Tangpeng, actually. He was first inspired by his neighbor, a painter with his brush and ink. At that time, the blacksmith actually inspired by his neighbor and he tried, he wanted to try to create, to recreate those beautiful sceneries by his actually by his iron and the hammer. Here we are, actually we got several different kinds of landscapes made by the iron art and today we have our special guest, the one of the iron art inheritor Chu Jingxia.它是通过这个成熟工业
我们的铁花，它是以中国花为蓝本。中国花它有人物、人物画、花鸟画、山水画、书法，这些我们都能做，都能把它变成铁花。只不过它的体材跟不一样，它的形式表现不一样。嗯嗯 Actually, I just asked him. Uh, I just asked her whether I want to know because there are a lot of different types of vibrant art, and we can see here in this room. Actually, there are a lot of different kinds of art. Vibrant art. You can see there's a uh, little small, tiny symbolic uh, objects, uh, which represents also like the birds or those uh, beautiful, beautiful animals. And also, we can see here many stories, uh, and there's also different kinds of animals like horses, which have an important meaning in China. And also, we have got different kinds of calligraphies, Chinese calligraphy, that is also made of iron. And we, besides those animals, we also have uh, Chinese natural landscape. Actually, I just asked her whether I can uh, learn a little bit about the iron art, and she now is going to show us first how we made an iron work. Here uh, on the table, we can see actually before we have to do some preparations. Like uh, we got here uh, heating material, and we also got different kinds of tools uh, to hit the iron to make it. We should hit the iron to shape it, and we also got different kinds of hammer and different kinds of uh, iron raw materials. After actually according to our uh, pencil draft, uh, we have after we have to shape the iron according to different uh, set different kinds of uh, pencil draft. Who is it? Now, I want to ask you. 呃，您之后呃，在做完这个步骤之后，之后还会有一些别的什么步骤吗？在断打完之后，他的嗯，我们是怎么样最后能够变成这样一副完整的一个？一副完嗯，一副完整的铁花，先要经过铁铁艺的铁花艺术的制作，嗯，然后制作好了以后呢，然后再进行装裱，装裱呢，它有各种形式，有瓷盘的，有陶瓷的瓷盘的装在上面。也有画框，像中国画呀，画框镶嵌在那上面。还有呢，那个不锈钢的、不锈钢的那个盘子，也可以。哦。哎，因为还有一些摆件，你看那样的摆件，红木座架的，像小屏风一样的，都可以。所以这个装饰的形式呢，应该是多元化的，哎，多元化的。嗯，就是看供给市场个人喜好。哦。哎uh, actually, I just actually I just asked him because uh, I see there's a different kinds of decorations. 
different kinds of decoration. After you have uh, shaped the iron, you can make it in uh, like Chinese traditional paintings, and also you can make it with uh, a wood structure.是吧,那你現在做的實際上這一段,是不是就是這一個這一個沒花枝了?一個沒花的枝,這個樹幹,小枝幹。一个小叉子,小树枝,就是做的这个。这个打好了以后,我要把它打好以后把它换上去。Actually, uh, what uh, Mr. Chu is now doing is actually he is heating the iron to make a branch. Actually, this is the final work. He, what, he's, what she's doing actually, he is iron heating the, the branch. So that after we can see here, this is the iron raw material, and this is when he after heating, and after now we can see the in the final work he will become a branch of the the final iron work actually. I just asking her whether I have this opportunity to also try to do uh, just for one time maybe uh, this uh, incredible uh, iron art. Actually, what she's now doing actually he is after she has hidden different parts uh, of the branch, she had to weld them together. Actually, we can see uh, in a final work. Actually, we can see uh, the branch has different style, different different style. So 
normally uh, they are not the same so we have to have to create different kinds of branch by heating by cutting see uh, what she has made is different kinds of he weld different kind of uh, branch they weld them together and after we can see uh, and we can see here he, after ironing this is a little leaf to make the to make the work more vivid and after we can see uh, after a long time of working the final work will be like this. Final work will be like this. Uh, incredible uh, branch of plums. We have uh, different kinds of branch, different kinds of leaves, and also we can see here. In this all these are made of iron. This kind of iron flower. So now I'm well prepared. So I'm also ready to be uh, do try for one time the iron work. temperature when it's at a very high temperature now we can begin to shape the iron according to different kind of pencil draft
And after a long time of, uh, we have to repeat this procedure all the time. So uh, after a long time of working, after we will be, we will have this uh, little branch, have this little branch from this raw material. What I'm doing now, we have to repeat it uh, like several hundreds of times. And after we will have this kind of uh, little uh, branch. And after doing just one branch, we have to repeat it also uh, a lot of times to make other branches. And after we have to uh, weld them together, we have to weld them also by heating, uh, weld them together. And finally, we can have just a little part of the art. And what I'm thinking of this art is, I think it's, we really need dedication and we also need hard working and we also need to devote a lot of time to make this art actually. What also I think what uh, after uh, trying uh, this a little, trying to do this uh, iron art, I also uh, find this is quite, the iron art is quite a unique combination. On one side actually, we can find the, uh, the softness and delicacy of Chinese traditional architect, uh, traditional painting and traditional um, uh, art. On the other side, we can also have the hardness of metal, which is striking. We also see, we also have the heat, which is, for me, it's very hard. So we have a very quite unique combination of, on, the other, on one side, the toughness, and on the other side, the hardness. So, after today's visit of how the Tiehua is made, so how the iron art is made, uh, I'm wondering you are quite curious also about this iron art, and when it comes to the protection of iron art, just as uh, Ms. Chu had said, everyone, you, me, everyone, we have, we need to do our, we have to play our role, our own role, to protect our culture. So that's the end of today's amazing China. I'm Jun with Xinhua News. If you like this video, you can just press like and you can leave us a message. And we will see you on our new episode, our next episode of Amazing China. See you next time. Bye bye.